Hey guys, in this video, let us see how to create a Spring MVC application using Spring Boot version 3.x. For this application, I am using Spring Boot version 3.2.4 which is the latest one. Whenever you are working with Spring Boot version greater than 3.x, it is mandatory that you need to have your Java version as 17 or greater than 17. Obviously, the Spring version will be 6.x. Because this is a Spring MVC application, we need to use an external Tomcat server. The Tomcat server version that is supported is 10.x. Okay. Before jumping into the application, let us see the flow of Spring MVC architecture. Now let us see the flow of Spring MVC architecture. From the client, a request goes to the server. Whatever request comes in, in case of Spring MVC, it is taken in by a servlet called as Dispatcher Servlet. This Dispatcher Servlet extends HTTP Servlet. We don't have to create it. It is an inbuilt servlet. This dispatcher servlet is like a security or a receptionist in a company. Whatever request is coming in, it has to pass only through the dispatcher servlet. Just like when you are trying to enter into a company, you need to pass through the security only then you can meet the concerned person. This dispatcher servlet is also called as front controller. That is why we say Spring MVC uses front controller design pattern. All the requests that is coming from the client has to pass only through the dispatcher servlet. The dispatcher servlet is responsible for identifying the appropriate controller. You may be having any number of controllers. How does the dispatcher servlet do this? For that, the dispatcher servlet uses handler mapping classes. With the help of this, the dispatcher servlet will identify the appropriate controller. Say for example, in the request, I am passing a URL as slash login. The dispatcher servlet will go in search of a controller that is having a method with request mapping that matches the URL pattern. That is if it is going to have slash login. From the controller class, if you want to perform any business logic, the data is taken and sent to the service layer. Now, if you want to save the data into the database or retrieve the data from the database, in that case, the data is sent from the service layer to the repository layer. The repository layer is responsible for connecting to the database. Once the work is done, the result is sent back from the repository layer to the service layer, from the service layer to the controller. Now, it is the responsibility of the controller to send the data, that is the result, back to the client as a view page. For this, the controller uses certain classes like model or model map to attach the attribute and send it to the view page. So, in this case, the controller will return the view page name, return view page name. The controller is not going to call the view page directly, rather it will send it back to the dispatcher servlet. The dispatcher servlet is now responsible for identifying the appropriate view page. Suppose say here I have given it a success. The dispatcher servlet is responsible for identifying the appropriate view page that is having the name as success. In case of Spring MVC, you can have your views in any form. It can be JSP or Timeleaf. In our case, we will be using JSP. So, how does the dispatcher servlet will identify the appropriate view page? For that, the dispatcher servlet uses view resolvers. Okay, why do we call this as an MVC architecture? If you notice, in case of MVC, model, view and controller. Of course, the view page is nothing but the JSP page or it can be time leaf. And what about the controller? All the classes that are annotated with at controller annotation, they behave like controller classes. And what is this model? If you are performing business logic using the service layer, then that becomes the model. Data plus business logic becomes your model. 
so this is the architecture of your mvc application now let us see the flow of our application that we are going to work with now let us see the flow of our application that we are going to work with the first page will be my index.jsp in this i will create a url using the anchor tag a h r of equal to greet now when someone clicks on this link a request is sent to the backend here let us create a controller class that is a class that is annotated with add controller let us have the class name as greet controller i am not going to have the service or repository layer retrieve i am just going to create a model within the controller itself and i will return a view page so in this case i need to create a method that is having the url pattern as slash greet and here i am going to have a return as return success now the next page will be success.jsp so what the user sees will be index.jsp and success.jsp only but what about the data what is the data that i want to send from the controller to the success.jsp so within the controller let us use model or model map or model and view to create some data and send it as a response to the success.jsp page how does the controller know that it has to go to success.jsp for that in application dot properties you need to provide the details about the view resolver that is you need to provide the prefix and suffix while doing it we will see what exactly it is now let us go back and create our application i am in spring tool suite let us create the application file new spring starter project spring hyphen mvc hyphen basic type is maven packaging is war because this is an mvc application we are going to work with the external tomcat server java version is 17 language is java let me give the group group id as com.greetapp let me give the package name also com.greetapp click next spring boot version is 3.2.4 we need the dependency as web search for web you will get it over here as we discussed if your view page is going to be timely then you need to select that also so in case of spring mvc you can have your view pages time leaf or free marker or mustache or jsp in our case we are going to work with jsp select web click finish now the application is created let me open form.xml you can see the dependency that we have added spring boot starter web and tomcat is provided it means we need to add tomcat server okay now let us create the first page that is index.jsp because we are working with spring tool suit you don't have an option of jsp page so in that case go to help select eclipse marketplace you need to add the external plugin for jsp let me show you how this can be done search for web developer tools so this is the one you need to download and install it provide support for java server pages okay i have already installed it now select src main web app right click new jsp so i don't have it here click other search for jsp click next the file name is index.jsp and click finish in index.jsp let me add it as a h r of equal to greet greet user let me also add one more url the second url is welcome uh, with show message now the next step is we need to create the controller class so select com.greet app right click new class this should be created inside controllers package controllers greet controller and click finish this class should be annotated with add controller annotation within which let us add the method that is matching the url that we are having in the index.jsp page public whenever you are working with spring mvc application if you are working with a class that is annotated with add controller the method should have the return type as string or model and view only if you are returning the view page name if you want to return the data 
then you have to add a one more annotation as response body we are not talking about that we are talking about only as a spring mvc application wherein the return type of the methods of a controller can be either string or model and view because they are returning the name of the view page so let me first start with public string greet user within which now i want to send some data to the view page so for that let me add a parameter model this model is an interface you can either use model or model map or directly you can work with model and view so to start with we will use model 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 be very careful with the import now using this model we can attach some data that has to be sent to the next page so i am selecting a method which takes two parameters the first parameter is the dummy name the second parameter is the data that i want to send to the next page so the dummy name let me have it as message the data let me have it as have a great day now you have created a model now let us return the view page name return success this is the view page name now this method should be annotated with at request mapping matching the url that we are having in index.jsp let me click on index.jsp here we have got greet now let me select this url greet and add it to the greet controller similarly we need to do it for the other url also wherein i am having it as welcome now let me add the next method public string welcome user the method name can be any and this time let us have request mapping as welcome and within which let me add model map which is a class model map map using this model map also we can add data to to be sent to the next page if you notice we are not creating an object of model map we are adding the data directly the object creation will be taken care by spring framework here also let me have it as message the dummy name as message and the data that has to be sent to the next page is welcome to mvc and return the jsp page name so here also let me have the jsp pages success because anyways we are going to called either greet or welcome only one url can be called at a time right okay now from this where it will go so what is the flow of this application whatever request comes in it will go to the dispatcher servlet the dispatcher servlet has, is responsible for identifying the appropriate controller in our case first index.jsp is getting called from there if somebody is clicking greet it will enter into greet controller and now you are returning success so where it has to go it has to go in search of success.jsp first let us create success.jsp it has to be created inside web app i do not want to create success.jsp page inside web app the reason being whatever you are adding in web app will be exposed directly all the jsp pages i want to have it as hidden so in under web app create a new folder the folder name should be web hyphen inf all in capital under web inf right click create another folder views all in lower case inside views let us create the jsp page new other jsp success.jsp now i need to retrieve the data for retrieving the data i will use expression language the dummy name of the data is message so let us use dollar curly brace message okay but now how the controller will know that the success.jsp page is located inside web in of inside views folder this configuration has to be given in application.properties open resources select application.properties inside this we need to give the prefix and suffix that is in the controller you have just given it as success so what is the suffix of success it is .jsp and what is the prefix that is where it is available it is under slash web hyphen inf slash views slash success.jsp so this is the prefix and this is the suffix so when you are working in a mvc application it is mandatory that you need to provide the prefix and suffix for your view page name 
the view resolver will attach the prefix and suffix to the name that is given by the controller and identify the appropriate JSP page. Now let us add the property. It is string dot mvc dot view dot prefix. So the prefix is till this part. Remember to add the slash. The next one is suffix. Just give dot suffix automatically you will get it. It is dot js. Remember to add the dot also. Now all set. We need to run our application. We have to run our application in the server. We have to run it using Tomcat server 10. Select your project. Right click run as run on server. Open Apache. Tomcat server 10. Click next. Here. If you have downloaded Tomcat server 10. It is okay. You can work with it directly. If you have not downloaded. There are two ways to download it. One is. From here only you can download and install. Automatically it will download and install Tomcat server for you. Or else go to the browser. Search for Tomcat 10 download. It is a zip file. Extract it and give the path. Here it is Tomcat 10. Click next and click finish. The application has started successfully. If you notice in the console. First the Tomcat server has started. Then it starts spring. Web application initializers are started. You should get both. Only then it means that your application has started successfully. If you are seeing only Tomcat server running, then it means there is some error in your application. Maybe you have not added that controller annotation. Or your hierarchy of your packages are wrong. So those things you need to note it down. You should get both the Tomcat server running and the Spring application getting started. Okay. Now we can see over here. Spring Embedded Web Application Context has started. The application is running in port number 8080. Let me click on Greet User. Now it is printing. As I told you, when the client clicks on a link, automatically the request is taken by the dispatcher servlet. You can see here. The moment you click the link, the dispatcher servlet is getting called. The dispatcher servlet is identifying the appropriate controller. The controller is creating the data, attaching the data to the model and sending it to the view page. The dispatcher servlet using the view resolver that is using the properties file it is identifying the appropriate view page and returning the view page. Now let me go back click show message. Welcome to MVC. Okay. So this is how you create a simple MVC application using Spring Boot.